Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3 d Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to destroy a game object in Unity 3 d There are a lot of ways to destroy a game object. So I am going to show you the basic system in Unity 3 d So let's do it. Create a simple game object. And then create the script. And then just name it up to any any name which you like to give. So I am going to disable the other cubes. So just drag and drop the script over this cube. Open open it up the script. So to destroy a game object, the syntax for destroying the game object is nothing but destroy and then the game object name that's it what are the game object which you like to destroy just input the game object name inside that please wait for the script to be open okay so let's Import the syntax destroy and then the game object name over here. That's it. So you can use either game object or you can use either instead of game object, we can use this dot game object. So it's your wish. So hit play and let's check it out. So just play this. So you can see the game object has been destroyed. So you can now either use this keyboard or you can use without keyboard. Hit play. So that's it. The game object has been destroyed now, like before. So these are the both system you can use either this keyword or you can use without this keywords. Hit play and check it with this keyword. That's it. So every after the game start the cube will be destroyed. So now I am going to show you how to destroy a multiple game object at the same time. Enable the cubes which you have already and then just remove the script from the older cube. So in order to control everything we are going to have the game object on intermediate game object. So I am just dragging drop it up the script over the main camera and then create a public variable called game object. I am going to have destroy in just destroying objects. So we are going to call that object over here. So I am just using false statement and then calling that destroying object for int i equal to 0 i is lesser than and then the game object name which you are going to destroy it's a destroying object and then dot length and then i plus plus so it will create it like this so we are going to create a public reference and then just drag and drop every cube which you are going to destroy so these are the cubes which have been in scene so I'm just drag and dropping everything over here
just change the position so that you can be able to see everything whether it's just drawing or not okay so now we just back on the script and then just add i plus plus so here we are going to get that game object and then inside the array we are going to call the increment function it's nothing but i and then just copy that destroy keyword and then just replace with game object over the destroying object because we are going to destroy the destroying object so I hit play and let's check it up whether it's destroying or not after the game start everything will be destroyed yeah that's it so we are destroyed everything in a single shot so you can have multiple game objects it's your wish like this and then just change the array size you can increase the array size and then just drag and drop everything over the inspector panel save the scene and then hit play so everything has been destroyed which we have drag and dropped over here so these are the basic concept we can destroy everything in one shot some people ask how can we destroy the things at a runtime so I am going to teach the thing also now so this is a basic concept to destroy at uh, when the game object which have been done at runtime so now uh, before that I am going to just try and drop everything in a game object so this is a basic parent for every child so we don't want to need to try drag and drop everything over the game object so I am going to have only one array I'm just going to drag and drop this one parent game object and then hit play. That's it. So it's a simple step. We are going to have everything as in parent child concept and then just drag and drop only one single game object and make it up easy, little bit easy for scripting. I think this is also one type of a system. You can use it up. So now we are going to see how to do a game object, destroying a game object created at runtime. So just comment everything. Perfect. Now just delete the, uh, disable the cubes which you have already. and then open up the script script and then type game object go equal to new game object so it will create a game object basically there you can see it will create a new game object so we are going to create that cube so in order to create a cube at runtime, just drag and drop the prefab in the project panel and then input that cube over the resource folder so that we can able to call at runtime. Create folder called resource and then just drag and drop over that resource. And then in the script, instantiate 
resource.load resources dot load double quotes this place we are going to have the name of a game object which you are going to extract from the resource so let's copy that name from over here Open up the resource and then just copy the name and place over the script and then hit play. So now you can see the game object has been created cube of clone. It has been created on runtime. So now I'm going to destroy it now at a runtime. So I'm going to give some time over that before it get destroyed. So I used the IE enumerator over here and then use yield return new wait for seconds. So every IE enumerator should have yield statement. I'm giving 0 0.30 seconds. So, game. So, before that, it should be called using a start coroutine. I'm just calling over the start coroutine function. Double quotes. Because since we are calling a function, so so what we are going to do is now make a game object as public so that I can be able to access over the IE enumerator and then go destroy keyboard destroy is a keyboard and then the game object name inside that who is a game object name that's it so after 1.30 seconds it is going to destroy hit play yeah that's it perfect it worked like a charm you can increase the time a little bit higher maybe 3 seconds hit play so it will be destroyed after 3.30 seconds that's it it's working like a charm so this is the basic concept you can destroy the game object this is the third concept I am just teaching for you so this is it if you think my video is very helpful for you please subscribe as 